Jonathan Turnway's Chester, and today I'm sampling a bowl of Sheraton's Eventide. If you've been keeping up to date with my videos, you should have just seen my review of Sheraton's first bowl. So now I'm taking us to the other end of the scale. Eventide is Sheraton's interpretation of Dunhill's nightcap, and once again, it's a tobacco that knows its role. In this case, its role is to help you settle down and relax at the end of the day with a blend that is big, punchy and powerful. The consistency of this blend is a base of American tobaccos with added Turkish, Latakia and just a pinch of Perique for added spiciness. Interestingly, I think the blend overall has a similar character to the first bowl. The base tobacco gives it a nice sweet taste, although in this case it's a much richer, almost coffee-like, treacly sweetness, or like sweet coffee. Uh, then you've got the smokiness coming in from the Latakia and Turkish tobaccos, but this one, as I said, adds an element of spiciness from the little touch of Greek. So the overall character might be the same, but this one turns it up to uh, I've often wondered actually if the use of the word relax on the tin is actually just a euphemism for knock you out with a really high nicotine content and that is certainly the case here. The nicotine content is very very high. Uh, I am being a bit of a rebel and sampling this fairly early in the day and I haven't had breakfast and I'm starting to think that might be something of a mistake. I might appear a little woozy in this video, that's probably why. Uh, but it's still a really satisfying, enjoyable blend. Uh, if I was having it at the end of the day, it would be really, really good. Uh, Nightcap was always one of my favourite blends from Dunhill. I've got to say, this is probably the most faithful interpretation I've had out of the Sheraton ones. It definitely comes closest to replicating the original blend, so kudos to them for that. Not something I'd recommend to beginners, uh, due to the aforementioned nicotine content, but if you're feeling brave, or if you're a more experienced pipe smoker, I definitely recommend trying it, and it is very, very good for the end of the day. If you do want to try it, it's available as always at termos.com. If you do try it, I hope you like it, let us know what you think, and if you like these videos, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more. Until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon, and I'm going to go have a lie down. Cheers.